Happening right now in Jacksonville Beach, a prayer vigil to honor the lives of the three people shot and killed in a racist mass shooting last month in Northwest Jacksonville. Angela Carr, A.J. Laguerre and Gerald Gallion were murdered at a Dollar General by a self-proclaimed racist from Clay County. Our Atia Collins is joining us live outside that vigil. Well, actually, she's in there tonight where it's all happening. She's on your side with a look at how the community is coming together, Atia, in an effort to heal. Yes, this prayer vigil getting underway here. I want to show you the group behind me. I'm here at St. Paul's by the Sea Church, and I talked to community and church leaders right, be right before this prayer vigil got underway, and they tell me they felt it was important to offer a space for peace and unity because what happens in one part of Jacksonville impacts the whole of Duval County. It's been 10 days since the racist mass shooting at a Dollar General in Jacksonville took the lives of three people, and that trauma is still fresh for many. It's an area of concern for all of us because if one person is not safe, no one is safe. Dr. Christine Caulfield, a local expert on trauma recovery and grief, says research shows the prevalence of PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder after a community disaster can be as high as 75 percent. Dr. Caulfield suggests counseling, journaling, exercising, or attending community events to those struggling to manage their grief. We need to encourage you to please seek help and support. In fact, it's very healthy to reach out for support when you are struggling with these kinds of very normal reactions to a very abnormal event. Pastor Helen Jackson, an organizer behind this prayer vigil, says dismantling hate and emphasizing community is a key part of healing. Inside these walls, the group aims to come together to share their grief and eliminate hate. Not only the goal is to have unity among all people, all races, intergenerational, as well as geographical, it's also to have peace. And you're taking a live look at this prayer vigil going on right now again inside of the St. Paul's by the Sea Church. Now there is a hotline number available for anyone in the area who is experiencing grief and wanting to talk about that racist mass shooting. The number for that is 18339-TRAUMA. You can also find that on our website, firstcoastnews.com. Reporting Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.